What up guys, wanted to jump on here during halftime with the Low Snap Podcast. Just talk about some of my thoughts through the first half of football. First one, kind of an obvious one, Miles Garrett is a dog. That's a D-A-W-G for those of you who don't know. Dude already has two sacks, is just abusing the Eagles left tackle, um, Vitae, not even going to try to pronounce his last name, but I think Miles Garrett is the real deal. Dark horse to lead the NFL in sacks, place a bet on that if you will, but getting some other guys, um, Tyrod Taylor is back in the game, he left briefly with a left wrist injury, he's back though. So is Chris Hubbard, who twisted up his knee, but left under his own power. Um, Still have yet to see Denzel Ward back on the field, so that could be something to watch. But again, he did leave under his own power as well. Maybe they're just being cautious. Other than that, um, the Browns need to shore up their offensive line. They've given up some sacks early. Um, There was one play right after Tyrod Taylor got back, where a... I believe it was Jordan Hicks, a, an Eagles linebacker, came through unblocked and sacked Tyrod Taylor for like a nine-yard loss. That's not good. The Browns have always had a really good offensive line, but with Joe Thomas retiring this past offseason, it's a little worse than normal. So, that's something to watch there, see if they can fix that. Next up is surprisingly the Browns' defense I really liked these guys on paper, but it's glad to see it come to fruition. In the first half alone, they forced four turnovers. One one that I know of in the red zone, I've been making some videos, so I've missed pieces and parts of the game. Um, one in the red zone when the Eagles were actually very close to scoring a touchdown to take the lead. Jamie Collins intercepted it for the Browns. And this is really surprising because there are rumors swirling around that the Browns don't want to retain Jamie Collins want to trade him, want to get him off the roster um, because they do have other talented linebackers they would like to showcase like Michael Kendricks and Joe Schobert along with Christian Kirksey. So that's something to watch. And honestly, maybe it's the bad offensive line play. Maybe it's the fact that he was hurt last week. Nick Foles is not playing all that well. I expected a lot from him. Not seeing it here. But Tyrod Taylor, um, on the flip side, Tyrod Taylor is doing very well. He has showed good poise in the pocket, is using his legs to extend plays and avoid sacks. Quarterback is now a strength for the Cleveland Browns. We have yet to see Drew Stanton. I'd also like to see some of him as well. Um, It is said to be that Drew Stanton is the backup. Baker Mayfield would be the third string. Looks like the Browns are really hammering their plan to have Baker sit for the year, learn and absorb as much as he can. I'd like to see Drew Stanton get some reps, even if it is with the twos. But as far as the ones go into halftime, Browns defense looking legit, shutting down the Eagles offense. And the Browns defense, or the Browns offense ain't no shab either. Um, Carlos Hyde is looking like the Ohio State Carlos Hyde that got him drafted really high by the San Francisco 49ers. Carlos Hyde looks to be a force, and so do the other Browns running backs as well. Duke Johnson has looked good catching passes and just being a force on the ground as well. We haven't seen Nick Chubb, but I'm sure we will here in the second half. I'll I'll update you guys with that as it comes. Thanks for watching. I'm going to get back to watching some halftime show. Just a few more weeks and we get some regular season football. But so far, I'm having fun with the preseason. Let me know what you guys think below. Let me know what I should watch out for in the second half as well. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks guys, I appreciate it.